If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. It's the Ravens Rookie Show. Everyone's inside getting autographs, and I got my heckler here to the left. Sergio! 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 Now, all I can say is, ever since I saw the commercial, I've always wanted to meet Sergio. And finally, we welcome Sergio Kindle out. You know, the folks here at Casey's came up, they, they gave me some stuff to get the players to autograph, to hang up and everything, and I, I handed it to him, and he starts to sign, he's like, man, I don't have a number. I don't, you don't have a number here, do you? No, I don't. When are they going to sign you a number? Well, I'm um, You were a guy that a lot of people thought was going to go top 20 in the draft. A lot of people said, this guy is, you know, one of the most, I thought you were going top 20 in the draft. When somebody said, maybe the Ravens are going to said, yeah, like he's going to slip there. You end up falling out of the first round. And a lot of guys get jaded. A lot of guys will be angry about it. We talked to you that night. And you were like on cloud nine. Tell me about that and tell me how you kept your attitude up. Knowing that you had some expectations and maybe they didn't quite pan out where you thought they were. Well, first of all, I was on cloud like 27. <laughs> but, um, you know, it was, it was hard the first day, but, you know, I felt like everything happened for a reason. And, you know, the good Lord put me on in Baltimore for a good reason. So, did, did you look at Baltimore as an option knowing where their draft pick was, backing up all that stuff? the beginning of the mating call with you and the Ravens. When's the first time that they contacted you, visits, the whole deal? Because we try to learn all that stuff here. I mean, well, at the combine, you know, I sat down and talked with the coaches, but since then, the very first time I heard from him was when he was like, Isaac Newsom called me, and he was like, uh, have you been picked yet? And I said, no, I don't think so. <laughs> and, uh, he said, okay, well, you finna go on the ball right now. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm in mean, they top three. And then he was like, no, no, we're ready for the walk out there right now, listen, listen, and then that's when it happened. That's when I went from cloud one to cloud two to seven. But what's like the first thing you explained when you found out that you were picked? Well, I, I went uh, in the drawer and found that hat they gave me from the combine, and I put it on. It's a scully, it's hot, it's hot in Texas too, it didn't matter. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I screamed some of those next rated words out in the air. <laughs> uh, it, 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 it was a good feeling, man. Um, I was real hyped up when y'all interviews were too. It might have sounded cocky, but I'm a confident guy. Let's pull the curtain back. What did you say that first night when we talked to you right after you got there? What did you say you were going to do this year? Uh, my plan is to get rookie of the year. You know what I mean? That's the right goal to have. Yeah, exactly. And now there's, but there's got to be another goal because I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna lie to you. These guys out here. We want diamonds! We want diamonds! That's the other one. That's the other one. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's just a, you know, the first goal is to get us into the playoffs and then go win the Super Bowl. But, you, know, you know, maybe I'm the missing piece to the puzzle that they need. <laughs> teammates and the new guys and coming in. Every guy that's come up here, you're last in line tonight for the interviewing process. They've all talked about Ray Lewis. They've all talked about Raven tradition and certainly the defensive tradition that's been set here. Uh, tell me about your first encounter with number 52. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.